Hi guys! I am gonna do just a plant tour of all the plants that I have at my house and just so you guys can see kind of what I have and what I'm working with. I started my collection um, kind of two years ago but I have kind of transitioned like those plants that I had two years ago I don't really have any more and I've gone through different stages of having plants. I recently did just like a plant purge so I don't have as many as I used to um, but I feel like I have a good amount and I'm definitely back on just um, really loving plants and seeing where my collection goes to. So first things first, we'll start in my room. So ignoring the mess that's on the table, um, but I have these two plants. I have this Florida Ghost Mint right here. Um, I do need to just rinse out the Leca. Um, as it has some calcium buildup, but this one used to be in my greenhouse, um, but I just recently moved it out of it as it's getting quite big. It didn't really fit in there anymore, um, but I got it off, well, you saw the opening of this one, so this is kind of where it's at now. Um, so yeah, there is that new growth coming out. I'm hoping it's white. This is my favorite leaf, and it's, of course, like the littlest, so I'm hoping to get a few more of those. Um, but yeah, and then this is my Adansonii, a large form. So there's a few unique little leaves on it, and it's just growing up my wall right now. Um, I do have a couple yellowing leaves down here. Not really sure what that's about, but it kind of just happens. So there's that. Okay, and then coming onto my desk, I have just one of my tanks with one of my um, lychees in it, but... As you can see, there are some Adansonia in there, and then there is a Transcantia in the back, um, and then a lot of moss is in there as well. This is my little propagation station for my watermelon peps, the variegated ones. So there's just that. Spray it down kind of every day to keep that humidity. And then I have my little Sepa Blue. Um, pothos. I'm trying to get it trained to go up the wall, um, but it's not really doing much for me there growing, but I got it while I was in a nursery in um, Pennsylvania while I was there, so that's kind of cool. And then here is my philodendron brantianum. Um, this is the mother plant. I have propagated her a lot. And I had a few more things. There's just my little crested gecko, a little noodle. But yeah, so the leaves are um, getting quite big, and then now they've shrunk a little bit. So I don't really know what's going on with that. But yeah, she's super cute, grown well. Okay, so up on my shelf, I just have um, a bunch of micans. So I have these two, which are going to be going up on my Etsy here soon. And then I have my personal Mikan that I have just growing up. I am going to probably get it to start training to go up the wall. There's that, and that's like the sun stress on it is just lovely. Um, it's becoming super orange, which I just love. And then Arafidophora, um, or Mini Monstera is right here. This is just um a cutting I took from the nursery that I worked at over the summer they kind of when I left they were like so just take as many cuttings as you like and I was like that's a little dangerous um so I took this one as I was kind of trying to see um there is a little variegation right there of course it was variegation before that leaf turned yellow um and I wanted to see if it would become anything but it was just a sport variegation, so nothing really happened, but there's that. And then I have one little succulent dude right here in a little face pot. Um, but yeah, that's for what's in my room. I also have this little propagation station um, with all of my exotica cuttings. I'm not doing too well. Like the pot that I bought, I bought it off a guy off Facebook, um, truly just kind of started to die as soon as it got shipped to me. 
So I had to cut it up, propagate it. I've sold a lot of the cuttings, but these are what's left. And then here's also my philodendron Brazil. It's kind of interesting. I think it's reverting back um, as I do have just a few just straight up neon pothos or like neon philodendron or whatever you'd call them. But they should have just neon. And then I also have like half moons. And I'm pretty sure what I was reading was that it's kind of just rebooting, which is like, okay. I don't really have any of the other two, so. Well, I'd rather go neon than go back to just the other one as I have the heart shape, but there is that. Probably needs to be watered as well, but it's just kind of doing its thing, so I'm letting it go. Okay, and then here's just my front entrance, so we can go in depth. Um, so this is my, I think, Regal Shield Alocasia with a new little growth point coming out. So cute. Um, but she's just in sphagnum moss. And then I have, I think this is just a Chinese evergreen. Um, it's not doing too well. I, my dad got it from his office. And this was the original part. Um, it was probably out to here in length. And it was just super leggy, so I cut it up. And I'm trying to regrow it be smaller but it's not doing too well um of course there are bits of it that are doing well so you just gotta ignore the gross parts i have a christmas cactus it used to be bigger but it completely rotted out um so this is all that i could scrape from it so it's just a little guy here's my little gnat traps i hate them but i have gnats so that's what has to be um here's my giant snake plant this is its growth within two years, so it really hasn't grown much, but I had it in a super small pot because I don't want it to get huge. So that's just kind of like that. Here is my Pelia peperomioid. I'm with the little pup. I propagated this one probably a hundred times. Um, but yeah, so he's just there in a the little face pot. So fun. And then here is an Alocasia mellow. I had it in my greenhouse, but it was getting too burnt, so I'm trying to just not now. Um, philodendron, it's, I don't know, it's just the heart shaped philodendron. Going pretty well, probably needs watered. But yeah, super cool. I've been told this face looks like um, the Prince, I think Squidward or something from SpongeBob, but just kind of supposed to be a goddess kind of thing. Um, and then I have this Skindapsis Silvery Anne. I'm trying to get to train to grow upwards. Super long. I recently got this one at like a garage sale. So that was fun. And then I have the mother plant of Crimson Princess. Hoya, this was my first Hoya actually. Well, second. Oh yeah, she's doing pretty well. I have a few, um, I have a variegated bear paw and then I think something totem, not too sure. I have what is a failed attempt at growing a houseplant from seeds. Nothing's happened, so I'm pretty sure that's a fail. And then I have this little succulent, crazy enough, growing in LECA, doing great. So that's awesome. A little, little squishy, so I think these are probably going to die off soon, but looks good. And then I have a philodendron broken. This was just started from a pup. New little growth coming out. Definitely, like, not my favorite. Um, but she's not a burden or anything, so she's fine there. Awesome. And then moving over, so this plant is weird. Um, I bought this one from a cutting probably a year and a half ago. It did nothing for me for a year. And it finally sprouted and it's finally growing all this length up here. But like, these leaves, look how tiny those were. And that's all the growth I was getting for forever. And now it's finally getting bigger, but there's that. And then there's all these that are just like dying but then growing i'm very confused by it um 
So I don't know if I need to just repot in better soil if it's that's kind of an issue, but yeah. And then I have a variegated string of pearls in a cute little pot. Um, crazy enough, I've killed every single normal string of pearls I've had, but this variegated one seems to be doing fine, so that's awesome. Um, I think it's like pie crust succulent or something like that. Here, a little normal bear paw, so that's fun. And then I have a reverted um, variegated black velvet. So here's a couple of the original leaves. Super variegated, but then all the new ones are not. You can tell that I watered on top and the water got stuck um, in the leaves based on the coloration. But yeah, this one I've had for two years. And it's truly, it's died a couple times and it come fully back, so it's awesome. Here is my first Hoya. Um, I have no idea what it's called, but maybe I'll just put it up on the screen or something. Um, I got this from a cutting from a lady at my old work. It's finally started to grow. It didn't really do anything for me for the first couple months of I having it, but they were just like fresh cuttings. And then finally, these are two new ones. These are new. This is new, and then this whole sprout is new. Um, yeah, so she was truly amazing. Like, um, I was just, her whole office had huge 20 year old plants in it. It was just beautiful. It was crazy. And then I have another little pot of Crimson Princess, and I have this huge guy. So he is just amazing because he had um, bugs, which he has again. So that's awesome. He's just so prone to freaking bugs that it's kind of annoying. Um, so yeah, I'll be moving him outside after this and cleaning him for the 10th time because he had, um, I don't know what those little black bugs are called again, but he had those and that's what this damage is from them. Um, and now he has these little white guys, so that's freaking so fun. Um, so honestly, I don't know if he's even worth keeping anymore because this is like the second time, but we will see him, cool. Okay, um, I didn't have the patience to wait, so I just took it outside. I sprayed it down with hydrogen peroxide and Dawn dish soap. Um, I found a couple huge freaking bugs on it. So I got rid of those. Um, and it's just gonna be chilling outside for a couple days. Um, and it's just so annoying because I put even the root in water and it started to really pop with growth. All of that's new. This leaf's new. Those leaves are new. It literally came back from probably two leaves. So this is kind of annoying. I took those two leaves off um, just because those were the two leaves I left and I'm not blaming it on them, but I'm not neglecting them from blame. Um, and then I watered it with the hydrogen peroxide mix to hopefully kill anything that's in the soil because it is in LECA, most of this is LECA, but the main root ball itself is dope because it was so root bound when I repotted it into a bigger pot that I couldn't get all the dirt off. Um, so honestly what I might do is once again just take it off completely hose everything down and start again just because this is the second time um within like three months so it's kind of annoying but it's so beautiful that i don't want to get rid of it and i it, this is one of my first plants so it means a lot to me but we proceed okay and then my ikea greenhouse has changed since my last video so i will also just do a quick tour of this if i can unlock it okay so i have just a moss wall with a few um these are all mikan cuttings there is a raphidophora i don't think that's correct it's the shingland plant though that's the common one that you get at home depot i have another little Mike in there, I have an Adansonii, I have another, I can't remember 
what that Hoya is called, but that's just a cutting as well. Um, and then, yeah, and then I think this one should be a Peru or that one. Um, I bought a bunch of cuttings as Perus and they've all turned out to be added so AI. So that's super fun. Um, but they were cheap, so it's not terrible, but it's still frustrating. Here is my purple watermelon papillomioid um, in this super fun plant pot. Let's move that out of the way. Um, I feel like I don't really need to open this, but here, just a bunch of string of turtle propagations. And then in this thing, it's a bunch of moss. Um, I'm just doing a test to see if it stays alive. That's why there's a blue covering because they do grow in shaded areas. So we're gonna just see on that. Here is another little propagation box. Um, so there is a small little, um, I don't know, a super silver something um, Hoya cutting. And then there are just a bunch of nodes that have done nothing the whole time I've had them. They haven't died, so that's why I'm holding on to them, but done nothing. And then I do have a few um, Alocasia Regal Shield Corms. Like, this little guy has a growth point coming out. Um, when I was repotting the Regal Shield, they all kind of fell off, so I was like, mm -hmm. but... We will continue to see. So there's that first shelf. Here is the next shelf. So I have a Vercosium, um large form. It popped out one new leaf since I had it. Hasn't done anything since. A string of turtles in a little face pot. I have a, what do you call this? A variegated string of hearts. It has a few new growth, so that's fun. Um, but yeah, it's just that little hasn't done anything. I do have a few Monsera Perus in here, just a couple cuttings. Um, I actually have a girl coming to pick up one of the cuttings tonight, because that is something that's on my Etsy. Um, I don't know, this has kind of been yellowing the whole time I've had it, so I don't know if it's actually yellowing or what's going on there. I have a couple of variegated watermelon pepperomioids. I have my personal variegated one. I have this going on, which is just new. Um, I think it's just a, I, I wanna say bacteria or something. I really don't know, but it's new, like straight up. And I even, that was new after I put the fans in here. And that's what's the confusing part. I have, if I reach through, watermelon pepper and weird normal one in a little butt pot with a couple since I moved into the greenhouse has new growth points I have a trippy moonlight just back here doing absolutely nothing for me as usual actually there is a new little growth point so I take that back it's glowing um and then as you guys have probably seen if you've watched any of my videos, I have this Adam Sonii, um, finally with a new little growth point right here. This leaf is yellowing, not too sure why. So it seems to be growing, but seems to not be super happy. But there is that. And then here is my Alocasia and Anthurium kind of little place. So this is an Alocasia poly. I actually just picked this up from someone off Facebook for five bucks um i used to have one died on me so i'm trying again here is my black velvet alocasia um it recently lost two leaves as it's going into dormancy but it's chilling i have a alocasia well ooh, an Ethereum crystallonium it used to have two giant leaves on it but i cut them off as they were browning and one was yellowing so I just cut them off but there's this newest leaf well this is the newest leaf and then this is the new leaf that hasn't hardened yet either I have an alocasia silver dragon with this cute little new leaf that popped out um here's one of my newest plants it is an anthurium 
Magnificum. So there is that. I got it locally. So that's super fun. Um, I did cut off a leaf that had a bacterial infection because my watermelon pepperomioid had got that as soon as I got this one. Um, so I just didn't want to mess with it. Even though he said it was fine. Um, yeah, there's this little cute little alocasia um, black velvet. This leaf totally dying, but I'm still keeping it there. I got a bunch of pops um, from a plant shop on Etsy, and they all died as they got to me. Um, so I'm just building them up from their corms, which is fine. And then the last thing is my newest Hoya edition. I am just getting into Hoyas, so all the cuttings are just from a bundle that I got. But this is a... Oh, I had it in my head this morning. Um, a Hoya... Oh, no, I don't know why I was about to say Obliga. That's completely incorrect. But uh, Abovata? Abovata, maybe. But yeah. Um, so there is all of my plants in my little greenhouse. Okay, awesome. Um, so that was just my tour of all my house plants. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm hoping to continue to grow my collection, but this is kind of just where I'm starting off. I hope you guys enjoyed my little plant tour and have a good week.